Jesus spoke so many parables but he spoke a particular parable and said if you don't understand this parable you won't understand any other thing what was that parable the parable of sower sowing the seed and he said oh a man went out to sow the seed some seed fell on the road side some seed fell on stony grounds some uh, seed fell on thorny places some seed fell on good soil some fell on the stony ground where it did not have much earth stone will not have much earth rocky soil will not have much earth just the top layer alone will have soil immediately it'll have rocks so when the seed fills on that stony ground where it did not have much earth and immediately it sprang up because it had no depth of earth see any tree that takes time to go deeper will not come out quickly why are these uh, weeds just spring up like that but you keep, you place a tree it'll be like but weeds are like why why do they come up so fast why there is outward growth fast growth there is no deep root so since it has no depth of the earth it immediately springs up and jesus explains this okay he he tells the thing and he explains this category of people when he explains the stony ground these likewise are the ones sown on stony ground who when they hear the word immediately receive it with gladness how did thessalonians receive the word in much affliction they received it with joy but these fellows are the church going fellows who are like hallelujah when you hear the sermons preached you get excited have you ever been excited hearing the word oh yeah 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 that's people who fell on stony ground immediate reaction of joy will be there whistle nothing wrong in excitement but when you're not deep rooted what happens they immediately receive it with gladness and they have no root in themselves so endure only for a time afterward when tribulation or persecutions arises for the word's sake slap somebody and say persecution tribulation arises for the word's sake i mean if you've received a prophetic word and your life went opposite direction right and you, the first thought is like why you going to edit it down you know first thing is to question the prophet one fellow he told whatever he wanted to tell my goodness that fellow the moment he said that my life is going in the opposite direction why what arises persecution arises for the words sake these are the ones by the wayside where the word is sown when they hear satan comes immediately and takes away the word that was sown in their hearts look at somebody and say devil is after the word he is okay with you having initial excitement and keep staying in the church and not have root in yourself and after some time you get just go down because the word is being tested he is okay with such categories of people in that's why he he brings you to the church services devil has no problem when you're a stony ground people he is like hallelujah he'll also stand by you when you get excited he'll also get excited like hey man he'll give you a high five for all the words because he knows you are not going to take root and just when persecution arises how many of you have pursued healing like you felt like god is calling you for healing you know people healing the sick and you started meditating you started reading books you started watching healing videos and then everything went started going crazy so when the word is tested because listen to me a believer with the word on the surface of his heart is no threat to the enemy but a believer who's rooted in the word is a threat to the enemy the believer who is rooted will destroy devil's kingdom so it's important devil makes all arrangements to make sure that you don't go to that place where you're deeply rooted 
but i'm telling you when you learn to receive the word in your heart in spite of the tribulations and afflictions that arises because of the word but you learn to receive it with joy and peace and you allow your heart to be deep rooted you know what will happen most assuredly i say to you that you will weep and lament but the world will rejoice and you will be sorrowful but your sorrow will be turned into joy look at somebody and say your sorrow will be turned into joy a woman when she is in labor has sorrow because her hour has come but as soon as she has given birth to the child she no longer remembers the anguish for joy that a human being has been born into the world therefore you now have sorrow but i will see you again and your heart will rejoice and your joy no one will take from you do you know there is a joy that nobody can take no circumstances can take that joy from you